Hello guys, welcome to Typer Kings. Uh, today, uh, in previous video, we discussed about color background property CSS. We already discussed it. Now, in today's videos, uh, we are discussing about fonts. How to use fonts in, uh, by using uh, CSS? Okay, first one is uh, font family. Here, font family means it is used to uh, it gives shapes to a text. It uh, it uh, gives shapes to a text how it gives for example the css font family property specifies the font for an element means if you want to give uh, different types of uh, uh, different formats of text we use this font family for example you see roboto here you use font family roboto so uh, it converts into uh, a font family of a roboto for paragraph also like that okay uh, depending upon what to what class we provided it there let's discuss uh, with uh, this thing through an example okay uh, now in this video we will discuss what we learn up to now um, Now paragraph. First one is C. Let's put like this. Next second one is C S S. Mm -hmm. Python. Let's put. HTML fourth one is CSS. Let's let's run this code. We already discussed this thing. Now we get like this. Now let's add uh, what we learned up to now about CSS properties. Mm. Let me say dot a. Mm what we can put okay let's change the background color first background color let's say hmm. Mm -hmm. let's put right blue somewhat better this color is okay copy I copied this X code and now uh, paste it uh, for color uh, let's put red now I copied and paste it now let's um, we know the use of do um, it will connect all things together now whatever we pasted dot a we put a in class attribute name now I am running this code now see the exhibitor now I want it to place at the center we already know this thing test align test align now center these are all things we already discussed now I want to modify this thing how can I modify it sir now uh, we need to discuss a uh, we discussed now font family now let's put font family only on family um roboto now let's run this code what see here before it is different but whenever i put a roboto it uh, the heading element change and even this also change for example if i remove this thing now see you will see normally but whenever i put roboto Whenever I put Roboto, see the changes. It changes into this thing. Okay, the change is uh, necessary. You need to observe. Okay, that is all about font family. So to change the shape or size, uh, to change the shape of a text, we use font family. It's simple. 
now font size means you need what in similar way but it is a it is difference is the size so to change the size of a text we we use a font size and the unit this is called pixels you see in example we see this is called uh, pixels we call it as pixels px so we know about unit of length is meters unit of velocity is kilometer per hour or meter per second like that in the similar way to measure the size of a font we use pixels okay font means nothing but it is like a specific text so to measure that i mean to change the text or to change the size of uh, to change the size we use pixels as a unit here okay and uh, before that we need to put some values and no no strings we need to uh, here your strings string representation is not there i mean sir no quotation marks on here but your quotation mark is necessary for font family now let's discuss this thing with an example font size what do we say 20 um uh, let's understand let's put 100 pixels now we'll understand what it is see the size become very large here see the size becomes very large so that is not enough let me put 36 pixels now okay so we came back to normal size px px we need to put okay now it is looking beautiful okay like that we need to do and next one is a font style see we discuss a font family means to represent different types of a text and we 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 get uh, we next move to the font size which represents the size of the text now for font style it represents the style of a name a paragraph or paragraph or something text see here font style there are we mainly used uh, um, italic and normal and some some way we use oblique also but mainly these two are important italic or normal okay uh, for font style for example uh, let's discuss with, uh, so to specify it specifies the font style for a text that's we already discussed now let's uh, understand through an example font style um let me put italic now let's run this code now see see here it see the difference you need to observe here they slightly move to right side if i put uh, if i put normal we will understand the difference here they are straight observe observe these things observe these things whenever i put italic whenever i put italic they move slightly move to right side and there's a difference you need to observe so that's all about font style okay and same like oblique let's put oblique to and understand how it changes now let's run this code now see so no difference about italic and uh, but they are slightly moved more than italic now i am putting italic only now font weight a font weight means what we know about if we uh, the weight of a person if he if the person weights more than uh, 60 70 kg we say he is very thick and in similar way in css also in 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 font styles also in font also we use font 8 to describes the shape on size of the pixels i mean size of the text see for example the css font weight property specifies how thick or thin characters in text should be displayed for example um we can use the values we can we can use this with the values or we can use it with the directive with the some names let's discuss this thing through an example uh, font weight font weight now let's put um, bold it's easy understandable bold means what we know about bold bold means very thick now let's run this code see understand difference if i put uh, right uh, or normal is there normal yeah normal is also there if i put normal um look at this the size became thin here but whenever i put to bold whenever i put to bold the letters become thick understand the difference okay so i put bold only 
and I left there. Now next one is a test decoration. Up to now we discussed about all fonts. Now test decoration means it gives some beauty, some extra beautiness to your test. Uh, like it is it gives it specifies the decoration that are added to a test. For example, uh, in some cases we put a heading through and handle lines. So how we get through and test decoration only? So we, we will discuss about test decoration now through an um, example. See here, um, test decoration means underline. Overline means what? Um, overline, um, line through. Here the, here underline means what? Downside of a test. It is the line which are drawn downside of a test is called underline. The line which drawn through the test is called drawn through. Overline means what? The lines which are drawn upside of a test is called overline. This we these are things we will understand through an example. For example, um, font so text decoration, text decoration. Uh, now, um, if we if I am putting underline first, now we will understand these things. See what we get underline. Do you understand? So everything is neatly underlined. If you want to overline, then also you will see the difference. See upside that uh, the line which is drawn through the upside of the test, which are drawn through the through the test is what through line, yeah, line through. And then let's run this code. Okay, I hope you understand uh, the difference between underline, overline, through line, uh, line through. Now I'm putting underline on there. Okay, I hope you understand this. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos.